Hello IEW students, welcome back. This is your video to help you in creating titles and coming up with final clincher sentences. And I've asked this beautiful young lady to join me. <laughs> Tori Grace has been gracious enough to join us. This is my daughter and she's been um, in IEW on and off for a couple of years here. So I asked her to do this kind of live with me so y'all could hear how it's done. First of all, um, in your book on page 33, you do have a rundown of creating a title, but we just wanted to flesh this out in a little more detail for you. In order to create a title, you need to come up with your final clincher sentence. So you're going to do your writing from your keyword outline, and then at the end, you are going to make up your own final clincher sentence. And in our current writings, this is essentially the moral, the lesson that has been learned or should be learned from the story. And from that moral, that final clincher sentence, you'll be able to highlight keywords to create a title from. So to do this as an example, I asked Tori to read The Crow and the Peacocks, and she's done that. And if you remember, the crow is unhappy with her ugly black feathers. She tries to tie on peacock feathers and they shoo her out of the garden. And Tori, you came up with um, a couple of final clinchers. Can you tell them what your first final clincher was that you came up with? Be content with who you are leads to peace. And one second, I'm gonna pause you there. Read it again for me. Being content with who you are leads to peace. Now, that's a great final clincher. I love it. What were your key words for your title that you pulled out? Content leads to peace. And how did you put that into making that a title? Contentment leads to peace. That's nice. Say it one more time for them. What Contentment was your title? leads to peace. Very good. And that would be a great title for a writing um, from The Crow and the Peacocks. And then um, I wanted more than one example. So what was your other final clincher that you came up with? Don't covet for what others have. Say it one more time. Do not covet for, other, for what others have. Very good. Do not covet for what others have. And what were your um, keywords? Don't covet. Don't covet. Or you said not covet. And then your title was? Don't covet. Don't covet. Which is a great title again. Um, a lesson for that peacock to, or the crow to have learned. So I hope this helps just in hearing some more examples of final clincher sentences and titles. Um, I'm excited to hear and see any title work that you guys have going on. And I hope you have a great week. Thanks again for being on the video. Thanks. Bye, Bye. y'all.